In this video, I'm going to show you an easy and inexpensive way to save money on your heating costs this winter. And we're going to do it right now. Fortunately for me, this is a new window. I replaced this not too long ago, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to use this as an example. What we're doing to this window will be much more effective for an old drafty window where the glass is much thinner and not insulated and you don't have a great seal at the bottom or at the top and it's drafty. It'll be much better for windows like that. But we're gonna use this window as an example. So basically what I'm gonna be doing is taking a piece of plastic and covering this entire window. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna trap the cold air in between there and insulate that from coming into the house. It's gonna stop drafts and honestly, you wouldn't think that it really works that great, but it really makes a huge difference as soon as you do it. Here are the things you're gonna need. This is the kit that I'm gonna use. It's Frost King. Uh, it's for nine windows and you just wanna make sure you get the right size. You can even do this for doors if you don't use like a patio door. Uh, in the winter, you can insulate the entire door. They make pieces big enough for that. So this kit comes with the plastic and it also comes with double-sided tape. And then you'll just need some scissors and a blow dryer. So before you start this, since we're sealing this in, decide whether you want your shade up or down because you're not gonna be able to access this. Make sure your window is locked. That's locked. And I'm gonna put the shade down and I'm gonna start insulating this. So the first step is to run double-sided tape all along the edge of the window. And then you peel that and you stick the insulation here. So I luckily have a picture frame window this is what is called a picture frame window, where it's a nice flat edge all the way around. Um, other windows in my house are sills. They have sills, so they come out like this. So what I am gonna have to do on that is bring a piece of tape down here and then put a piece of tape flat on the sill and stick the insulation or stick the plastic to that. Uh, this one's easier, but you should be able to get the idea when I do this one. Another thing that I've learned that helps is if you take some rubbing alcohol and a paper towel and you go along the edge wherever you're putting this tape and you just wipe it down and clean it of any oil or dirt or anything, it'll make sure that that tape sticks real well to the surface. So go around and clean the edge of all, all the window. See all that dirt. Actually, I think that's sawdust from sanding the floor. Anyways, that's what you want to get off of there. Once that's all clean, you can take your double-sided tape and peel it and you want to just stick it right to the edge. Try and get a flat edge to stick it to. And make sure it's stuck there good. Take some scissors. Just cut that. There we go. Then you want to take that piece because I like to overlap these pieces of tape. So I'm gonna peel this one right now. And it's hard to see because it's clear, but there is tape there. And then the next piece, like I said, you wanna overlap what you just put on there. So overlap that and do this piece up. This piece. Peel this one off. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing with 
the other remaining two pieces of trim. Okay, get the double-sided tape on all the way around. And now we can hang up our plastic. So with this stuff, I like to start at the top left corner and leave about an inch overhang on each side. Um, and then I pull it tight and attach the bottom and then the right side. There we go. Make sure you only have one piece here. This stuff is pretty thin. Like I said, you will be surprised with how much warmer it will be in your house with this stuff. Especially if you have really old windows. Okay, here's the tricky part. Make sure it's all unfolded. And try not to accidentally stick it anywhere because it doesn't like to come off. So, do the top left. Just get in that corner a little bit, like that. And then work your way from this corner. even on one side and then pull it, try and pull it tight without ripping it off to the right and stick it and then on the bottom it accidentally stuck there on the bottom pull this bottom corner don't pull it too too tight Kind of stretch it and stick it. There we go. That's pretty tight. Now just go along and stick it to that tape everywhere. All right, this is the fun part. Now you can see there's wrinkles in this. And, you know, and it's not tight. So in order for this to be completely effective, you want this to be tight and you want it to be crystal clear. You want all these wrinkles gone um, so that you can't even tell that anything's here. So you take your blow dryer and you put it on high and hold it four to six inches away and you can just watch the wrinkles go away and watch this whole this whole thing is going to tighten up and shrink don't get the blow dryer too close because you don't want to melt this stuff so about four to six inches and heat it up and shrink it All right, so I used the blow dryer for about three to four minutes and all the wrinkles are gone. And actually a good way to tell is if this thing, if the shade wasn't up against this you and you hit it lightly, it should sound like a drum. It's nice and tight. And now we can go along and trim all the excess plastic off of here. There we go. One window, probably about 10 minutes. And you can put all your stuff back. You're never gonna be able to tell. A little shiny. You gotta be looking for it. 
So like I said, 10 minutes or so for per window. I guarantee if you do this to all of the windows in your house, you're gonna save a ton of money on energy costs. So hopefully you found that video helpful and I hope it helps you save some money. And if you wanna check out my other videos, I'll leave them here and here-ish and you can check them out. And if you enjoyed this and you wanna see more content like this, then definitely subscribe. Thanks for watching.